assistant government's plan to meet that target, are you sure? Is it feasible by the end of this year? And then following that, the gap in metering. Yes. What is the plan again? Can you tell us uh, what you are doing uh, to, to move this year? To okay. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I will repeat it again, but I remember I made mention of this in details in my speech um, at the event hall. But let me let you know that on resumption of this administration in May 2023, we met a sector that was operating around an average of 4,000 megawatts of power. Peak was about 4,100. And we made a commitment. I remember I stated that commitment here at the event last year. Now it was the target of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to achieve a 6,000 megawatt of power by December 2024. And to God be the glory today. We are generating, transmitting, and distributing an average of 5,000 megawatts of power with a peak generation for the year 2024 at 5,527 megawatts precisely on the 3rd of September 2024. This was generated by all the thermal, that's the gas, powered plant company and the hydroelectric plants totaling 5,527. They were successfully evacuated, transmitted to the distribution companies and was distributed to the households, businesses, industries in this country. That shows a demonstration of the capability and capacity of our existing and renewed industry infrastructure. So if we could generate a peak of 5,527 in September, it goes without doubt that by December 2024, we should be able to generate 6,000 megawatts of power with our existing infrastructure. What about the metering so gap? Oh, 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 oh. The metering gap as you talked about, we have established what the gap is, and we already have plans to gradually reduce this gap and eventually eliminate it. We need the medium to short term uh, plan that we have. As it is today, we have what is called a presidential metering initiative that is with the support of the federal government and the Nigerian Governors Forum, for which fund is already being raised to ensure that we procure minimum of 10 million meters over the next five years at an annual average of 2 million meters per annum. And number two is that we have the support of our international development partner, the World Bank through their district program to procure about 3.5 million meters within the next two to three years. Out of that, 1.3 million meters have already been procured. The contract has been signed and the payments have been made. We are expecting delivery of a part of this in the next two months, precisely December 2024, while the balance will be delivered before the end of the second quarter of 2025. With this, we believe that uh, the days of estimated billing is getting over gradually and there will be transparency, there will be objectivity, there will be fairness in billing customers, which we believe will improve the billing efficiency and the collection efficiency of our distribution companies. Hold on, 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 There was no agreed collapse. There was a trip off. When you talk about agreed collapse, it will affect the 100% of our agreed infrastructure. 
that these are line trippings in certain quarters in the country. Even the major centers were not affected. Talk about Abuja, Lagos, Ibadan. And this was even restored within two hours. Let me tell you, grid disturbances is global. We are talking about electric connections that could be tripping off due to weather, due to dilapidation of some of your infrastructures. But what matters most is what's your rate of response to fix this. I will respond it swiftly. Within two hours, we we'll brought it back and it's working now. So it's no big deal. Last question, all right. Yes, sir, your energy, you spoke about the energy transition plan, especially with regards to um, renewable energy. You talked about using gas since we have it in abundance. Yes. Uh, can you draw an extensive on that? Too? Yes, we, we are actually embracing an ETP, an energy transition plan for the country in line with the global trend to ensure that we transit from the current state of energy sources to renewable energy, which is deemed cleaner. But what I said is, we are using the opportunity of energy transition to build our energy access expansion, especially in the underserved and the unserved communities, especially the rural areas and some isolated institutions, educational and health institutions. So we are embracing it and a lot of investment are going into development of these renewable energy sources. Given the resources we have in Nigeria, we have the sunshine, we have the wind, we have the water. So there's nothing that we need for transition to renewable energy that we don't have. All we are saying is that we cannot, because of that, abandon our conventional energy sources, which still serve as the base load sources of our energy, which is the gas, power plant and the hydro. So we are doing the two simultaneously and we believe they are not mutually exclusive. We we'll achieve our access expansion plan and we we'll achieve our energy transition plan with a medium term target of Vision 3030. By year 2030, 30% of our renewable energy eh, should be, 30% um, of our total energy sources should come from renewable energy. You understand? For which we are saying we should achieve a 30 gigawatt by year 2030. But by year 2060, we are planning or striving to achieve a zero carbon emission, net carbon emission. You understand? By year 2060. And I believe we are in good stead to achieve this plan. Thank you. Thank you.